What's up today my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is showing you guys the top 10 players or top 10 budget players you should have on your squad right now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so this is a squad that I've been using. So the players that I'm going to be breaking down to you guys are the other pl players that I actually have on my team. Some players surprisingly um some players surprised me there you go some players surprised me on how well they, they were playing so therefore i figured let me go ahead and do a video on it because a lot of these players you guys could acquire because they're very cheap to get it ain't like i'm using any one op on the squad um most of my players are b and d i think there's only like one or two maybe that are auctionable whatever the case may be but a lot of these players are obtainable so that's the reason why i want to show you guys because these are the cards that i've been using and one of them is this tim tebow let me tell you something about this Tim Tebow. In previous years, EA will usually give us Tim Tebow for free. And the Tim Tebow's that they usually gave us were horrendous. I don't know how they've been working for you. But this Tim Tebow, let me tell you. I don't even have no... He gets an ability, right? He gets abilities. I don't think that these abilities are going to be too crazy. But I have no abilities on him. And just the other game when I was playing, I threw the ball as I was... No, I'm sorry. I was about to throw the ball... As a player was coming to me, I almost got sacked. He let the ball off. And this dude made the pass to the player. I could not believe it. I was like, are you kidding me? I was I was, I was, about to get mad until I seen him release the ball. And then when he released the ball, I thought it was going to be like underthrown. Nope, still got the ball to the player. Don't tell me how that happened. I don't know if these quarterbacks this year, this that, that's the way they're playing. But that's the way my Tim Tebow played, and I'm very happy because I waited to get him, and I didn't have to spend no coins to go get me a QB. But for those who do want to know, he does get X Factors. If you guys want to add an X Factor, which is not bad, it's only 100, 100, uh, uh, why, why can't I even think 100 train? There you go. So let's see. Matter of fact, now that, now that I'm right here, let's go ahead and uh, add some train. Do we have some ones with perfect? We got Bazooka, Escape Artist, first one free. Okay, dot to here. Grants perfect passing on any throw. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. So if if he does um, activate it, at least I, I know I'll have like perfect perfect accuracy. So let me go get um, get that out, out the way. All right. So but once again, I didn't I didn't have no X factors on him when he did it. Here we go. Here. Look at this. Look at his stats. His stats are pretty decent. 83. Speed 85 throw, uh, throw power 84 short actually 60 uh, sorry 76 mid 80 deep 80 throw under pressure 84 throw on the run and 81 play action. Look at the mid, the mid and the deep are horrendous. So that's where I was like, you know, it's a free card, but they did give uh, get us on the mid and deep. They're too horrendous. However, playing with the card, the card plays great on my squad. So that's one thing I want to let you guys know, especially for those who are curious because everyone's building their squad differently. They're picking certain players and telling people, hey, get this player, get that player. That's cool because certain players, you know, people want to know about other players too, right? But I'm telling you guys from experience, um, Tim Tebow has been doing the job. Now, another one is this Christian McCaffrey. All right. So every, everyone should be able to have a Christian McCaffrey right now. And you should, and like, say for instance, you guys should have the tokens and everything to upgrade them if you want to, even if you're not using them. But this guy right here is OP. Um, once once the X Factors are activated, which these are the X Factor he gets, I got Fright Train, and uh, he got Energizer on him. These are his other abilities. If you guys want to add any abilities on him, it makes him even more OP. But you don't even have to have no X Factors or abilities just to let you guys know he works great without them. And on top of that, if you guys see, let's go over here to up, back to upgrades. He gets all 32 team cams, which uh, this season they didn't give them to the other season players, which I don't like. But that's what makes him even better because whatever theme team you're running, he go, he'll fit right into the scheme. Look at 87 speed, 87 acceleration, 88 agility, 83 carry, 83 catching, 88 change of direction, 62 truck, 84 brake tackle. The trucking is horrible, which I could overlook. You know, especially if it's a free, especially considering it's a free card, because a break tackle is what you want. You and he breaks tons of tackles. The trucking, I'm not really trucking that much anyway, but it's still good to have. But that break tackle is everything. So this card right here is is making a uh, major plays on my squad and making moves. Now, for those who didn't know, this card was given to us the other day by watching Twitch, and we're about to get another one. Once again, I have no X factors on him, even though he does get X factors, and these are his team chemistries. But this Garrett Wilson card 
is a goon. 83 overall, people are like, why would I watch Twitch for like two hours? I just leave it on. I put it on a tablet, leave it on. I don't even trip. Just get a free card. But one thing that attracted me to it is the speed. His card plays well on top of everything else. But this basic speed for 83 overall, yeah, I was there. I got him. His, his card's playing very well. I have my other my other receivers who got decent speed. So he's, as a starter, as you guys can tell, I... I literally had other cards that were higher overalls that I, I I replaced them with this card because this card plays better and he's faster. 86 speed, 76 jumping, 84 catching, which is big. 84 catching, 81 catching traffic, and 82 spectacular. Them are all great. 81 short route, 78 medium route, and 80 deep route. So this card right here is making plays. A must-have on your squad. Some people, if you haven't had him, I mean, I'm sorry, if you didn't get him from the Twitch, he's unattainable for you right now. That's what I will say. I just wanted to put that out there for those. Because there's some people who watch the Twitch and probably got him and maybe not maybe not be you maybe not using him as they should be. So I wanted to point that out there that if you have him, I would use him because he's very um he makes the job happen and, and he gets the job done. Another one, which I normally don't uh say too much about when it comes to linemen because you can't really tell but i'm gonna tell you guys right now a great budget beast right here is going to be this 84 overall center robert hangsley right this guy right here he's making plays not say what makes him what makes it even better is that i'm standing in the pocket for a while like i'm standing in the pocket for a while because these guys are doing their blocks then he also gets left guard and right guard cam as a left guard he's an 82 overall which i'll show you guys right now so even if um you don't use them no more or if you don't have a B and D version or actually you end up pulling them be like I don't need a center you can use them at left guard he'll play just as great look at his attributes all balanced out 84 7 84 strength 77 awards look at look at his other stats 85 pass block 80, everything else is 84 84 84 84 84 84 I only have to read off the rest of the stat they're just all 84s this guy plays great on the squad and make sure that he prevents me from getting sacked um, of course, you'll eventually get stacked, but I'm just saying in general, he he uh, gives me a lot more time in the pocket. So I definitely like this center. Once again, as a left guard, you're going to see it right now. If you want to put him as left guard, he's the 82 overall. Um, and he might even go up even higher with blue cams, depending on how you run your scheme. Another one, believe it or not, I know some people will be like, ah, he's too slow, is Jason Witten. Team captain. Believe it or not, and once again, he gets the all 32 team cams, so he'll go with, go in with any scheme that you guys want to run. I do not have X factors on him. You guys go ahead and put X factors on him if you want to, but just that alone, he's already playing great. Look at his attributes. His attributes are decent, right? His speed, I know you're like, he's not that fast. I'm not telling you guys to put him on your squad to sit him down to to run very fast and make a great play like that. When it comes to, I mean, if he gets open way down there and he runs faster than someone, that's cool. But this guy is good for the end zone. He's good for short plays because he's guaranteed to make the catch most of the time. This guy surprised me with the catches he has made. So that's one thing I wanted to put that out there to you guys. Because I was even considering like, ah, should I get rid of him because he's so slow and then put someone else in? Nah. Even if I did, he'll still be in a starter on a lot of my plays depending on what I run. So I will say that. All right, now on defense. Now on defense. We're going to start off with this Darrell Revis. He's only an 82 overall. Look at I got 2.3 million going to go into 2.4 million coins. I could get another cornerback. This this Darrell 82 overall Revis, 82 overall, very cheap. You could pick up 5'11. Yeah, he's short, but he's making play. Got 83 speed, 80 acceleration, 81 agility. Um, he got 278, 82 man, 75 zone, and 78 press. So his stats are all right. The speed is decent, but I'm going to tell you right now, he's actually out there making plays. Despite some of his stats and what you guys thinking, this Doral Reaver, keep in mind, I always tell people, I remember I had a friend one time. I remember EA gave us like a little free Randy Moss card. It was like a low overall card, and, and, and the card was playing good for him. And I said, bro, you got to understand. It's still Randy Moss in the game. Like, that's what I was trying to tell him. Like, it's still Randy Moss in the game. I don't care if the card is an 82 and then the higher version is like a 91. That's Randy Moss in the game. He may not catch it all the time because, you know, some of the stats. But he's going to make some part, uh, spectacular plays because that is a Randy Moss card in game. They're not really going to deplete him like that. So keep that in mind. This is still Doral Revis. He's going to make some plays for he's an 82 overall. And I guarantee you, he'll probably make as much as plays 
as his full AKA card. I'm telling you guys that right now. Don't let it fool you. All right, so another one that we just got for free is this Christian Watkins. Oh my goodness, this guy has playing, been playing as a goon, and he also gets left in and right in Kim, for those who do want to know. I, I have put Ripper on him. I don't know if I even active. Oh, it comes with Ripper already. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it comes with Ripper already. So I don't even think I even activated it. It don't look like I have it activated. He gets X Factors. Yeah, I haven't even activated his card yet, and this card been playing out his mind. Imagine if I would have activated it. might even play better. He's not that fast, but his other stack, look, he got 85 block shit and 81 power move and 87 tackle, got 84 strength. This card is a goon, and he was free. All you had to do was just log in. Usually, we will have to level him up or go and play solos to get certain cards to level him up. He was free as soon as just logging in. So, you guys need to get, definitely have him on your card. So, Doral Reavers, Christian Watkins. All right, now we're going to go above up here and talk about this Divine Diablo for those who don't know. Divine Diablo, so he'll get two of the same team, Kim, if you want to add him to your squad. But what makes him great is this, I, what I like about him, because he's more of a coverage linebacker, is the speed and the hit power. I'm a, I told you guys in previous videos, when it comes to linebackers and safeties, I'm a big fan of hit power. I can overlook other stats if they have uh, the hit power, because I like making sure that my because if he got good hit power, that means that he's going to be even better at tackling. And as you can tell, his tackle is 85. So he got tackle, hit power, speed. That's perfect. 88 deceleration. So he'll be able to run like way, like he has 88 speed and make plays happen. So I'm very happy with that. What about his jumping is 83, which is even better. I want to see his catching track for is only 58. So his catching doesn't look all that. Let me see his other stuff. Uh, I'm not looking about the man. I'm more looking at the catching. So the catching doesn't look like it's all that, but he has been making plays on my squad. Just want to show you guys. Keep in mind, just because some of these stats on some of these lower overall cards are not the craziest, even though some may be overdrews like this, that the 82 Divine Diallo has A6 speed with 85 hit power. That's pretty juice. Don't, don't, I wouldn't even pay attention to the other stats because. He plays just as good in the game, especially for those who've been using him. You guys should know what I'm talking about. So he's definitely another one. Now, another card is his uh, um, BJ card. I'm telling you guys right now, don't even have no... He, he comes with X-Factors. You want to put special X-Factors on him. This guy right here, look at it. He got to here. Form Tackler. 1 AP, I'm assuming that it's already on, right? But he got some special X-Factors. I can activate if I want to. I don't. Because he plays just as good by himself. 82 speed, 85 acceleration, 71 strength, 78 tackle, 75 play rec, 77 block, 76 power move, 83 finesse move. So certain stats are alright, other stats are certain stats are good, other stats are alright, I would say. But this card right here, um, sacks, interceptions, tackles, he's been making it happen. All my linebackers, I, look at. There's no reason if, if he wasn't doing the job, I would have put another linebacker in place him. I could go buy one, even if it's another budget piece. He's been playing the game and he's a free card by playing the solos. Like he was a free card that they gave us, so it, it shouldn't be that hard to go and acquire him. The last card I'm gonna talk about, yeah, Ray Lewis is good too. Don't get me wrong. All these other ones right here, but the reason why, because some people don't have the rookie premieres, so I'm not really gonna talk too much about them. That's the only reason why. So I'm gonna talk. I'm, I'm talking about the cards that uh, I know that people could go out and acquire. This Deshaun Wall, Deshaun Elliott. I pulled him for free. This guy right here was because you know how you get an 80, 84 plus for getting so far into your your um, game time field pass. While well, he was my 84 plus card. And what was crazy was I needed a strong safety, so it worked out perfect. I wasn't even mad. I was happy. And not only that, because I needed one, his stats were good, and he played. After I put him on my squad, I went out there and played some games. He played great out there. He got 84 speed, 85 acceleration, 83 tackle, 82 play rec, 80 pursuit, 74 man. Um, 74 man. Look at 84 zone and 84 hit power. The man is horrible, but all the other stats are cool. 84 overall this this card right here is a great card i'm telling you guys right now he's been playing good on my squad um since i got him and these are his team kids for those who want to know um secondary wake up he don't get no x factors or anything like that but, but um this is the other stuff that he gets but regardless of the fact he's been playing great on my squad so these are the cards i just want to show you guys i'm pretty sure there's other cards out there but for those who are wondering you may not be like oh i'll get all those cards but you'll be like you know what i might try tim tebow out I might use the Garrett Wilson that I put to the side. 
I might go ahead and get that Dion, Divine Diallo, or I might go ahead and pick this Deshaun Elliott up, or even sell one of your cornerbacks because you paid overpaid for a cornerback and just go ahead and get this 82 overall Darrell Revis and have a budget piece on your squad until you upgrade to the next one, probably for free in the next one we're going to get. So I just wanted to make sure you guys know, know and understand that. Share your opinions with me on, on what you guys think and who you guys are running. Until next time.